Hello, in this video we're going to discuss the Flutter 2.5 update. So I had another video for this week, but I unfortunately forgot to use my microphone with it and you could hear my keyboard in the video and I tried to go ahead and use it anyway, but I just wasn't super happy with it. So I thought since Flutter 2.5 came out this week, we'd go ahead and take a quick look at a few of the items that they listed in that. It says in this release, we continue to build support for the new Material U, including updates to floating action button sizes. So we're gonna take a look at that. And it says that it added a new material state scrolled under state that we will also look at. And then we'll take a look at these full screen modes that they have here. So I'll create a stateless widget here, S-T-L-E-S-S. -S. I'm going to add a material app. We'll call main screen from here. Down here, we'll create another stateless widget and call it main screen. Here inside main screen, we'll create a scaffold with an app bar. So there we have the app bar, it says Flutter 2.5 at the top. Now let's take a look at the floating action buttons. So it says here, we now have four sizes. We have small, regular, large, and extended. So if we go right here and type in floating action button and then floating action button again, we can type in small. It's going to ask for a child. We'll just give it an icon. Doesn't matter what kind. Then we'll add a non pressed and you'll see it right there on the screen. We can add const here to remove that error on the screen. Now you'll see here, I can also make it large. That's what it looks like large. And it says it can do a regular, but I think what it means by that is that you would just do it the normal way. There it is. But you can also do an extended, so you can type extended here. We'll change this child to a label. And then we'll probably just put in here, hello. And that's what it looks like extended. That's fairly straightforward. So the next thing we're going to look at is this material state scrolled under. And you'll see here that it's changing the size and the color when this scrolls under. So we're going to do an example of that. So we'll just create a list up here and we'll just call it letters. And then we'll do something like this. Down here under app bar, we'll create a body. We'll put a list view builder in there. So now you'll see we have a list of letters here and nothing happens when it scrolls at the moment. But what we're gonna do is once this scrolls underneath this, we're gonna change it to a different color. So up here in app bar, we're going to add background color. So what this is doing is it's checking the states to see if it contains the material state scrolled under. If the list view has scrolled under the app bar, it's going to show indigo. Otherwise it's going to show blue. So you'll see over here, we see our list as I scroll up, it turns to the other color. Finally, we're going to take a quick look at the full screen mode for Android. The first thing we're going to type is widgets flutter binding ensure initialized. And then up here at the top, we're going to go ahead and add flutter services. Now we're going to add system chrome dot set enabled system UI mode. 
And here's where the magic happens. We're going to type in the system UI mode. We'll start with the lean back. So right now you see the top and you see the bottom. Once I restarted it, you no longer see those. Now supposedly if you click anywhere, they'll come back. I'm not able to reproduce that, but I can uh, drag and get them to come back. Same with immersive. If I restart, it'll go away. And if I drag, it'll come back. This is the one I probably use the most, Immersive Sticky. Restart that. And then if you, if you swipe, they'll come back, but they'll go away again. And then we have Edge to Edge Mode, which I think makes more sense if we add transparency. So if I type in system chrome so we have the system chrome that sets the system ui overlay style of the system navigation bar color to transparent and then we're setting the enabled system ui mode to edge to edge restarting that and you can see a good example of that there. So that's just a few of the things in Flutter 2.5 I wanted to touch on. Um, hopefully next week I'll do a better job of making sure my videos have the mic in them. So you might also like this video here. And if you're enjoying my videos and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next one.